up, everybody? Welcome to A Beer A Day with TK. It's Saturday evening here in Finley, Ohio, and I'm relaxing at the house, getting ready to have a beer. Uh, the beer I have on offer today is the Coast Ritzer Pale Ale. Now, I picked this up in that mixed eight pack that I said I, I did the Rattler yesterday, the Bitburger Rattler, um, and this is a, a Coast Ritzer Pale Ale from that mixed pack. Now, Coast Ritzer, I've seen the Schwarz beer, the black beer, many times, but I can't say that I've ever seen this Pale Ale. Um, you know, the dark ale is what they're known for, the Schwarz beer. Um, even the name of the brewery is the Kostritzer Schwarz Beer Browery. So they kind of put it right in there. The black beer is what they're about. Uh, but I guess they're kind of spreading their wings and doing some other beers as well. And this is one of them. But I went to the website. They had a little bit of a rundown on the other beers they had for offer. So they had the Schwarz beer, obviously a Keller beer. They had a Lime Rattler which I probably wouldn't be a big fan of. I'm not a huge fan of the limes, probably mentioned that before. They have the Masterpiece Pale Ale, which appears to be this. Um, everything I, all my research online, I went through Untapped Beer Advocate, all these different places. Um, and basically the, the ABV and everything matches up to this. I even checked out the uh, nutritional info, the calories and, and every single thing matched up to this. So it would appear that the Masterpiece Pale Ale that comes in a bottle and has a different label is essentially the same thing as this. Um, they also had an Edel Pills. They had Bebop Black Cola. So this is another European brewery that does sodas and other things in addition to beer. And then one thing that really seemed awesome to me, they had um, a Kirsch beer. So basically it was 60% um, beer, 40% cherry lemonade. I think it only came in at 2.8%. So it's kind of like a Rattler, very low in the ABV. Um, but the thought of the beer with the cherry lemonade sounds amazing. I've never seen that one in the U.S. I don't know if anybody's seen it. If you have, holler at me. Let me know where you got it and what you think of it. Um, so, all right, we'll check this one out today. To be noted, this is brewed in accordance with the Reinheitsgebot. So all that's in it, water, barley malt, yeast, and hops. Uh, as it's a German brewery, I figure I'd break out Das Mini Boot. I don't have the full-size boot, but this will have to do. Ooh. Fair amount I had there. Color, this has a nice kind of copper color to it. Nice orangey hue. Um, carbonation, that's going wild. We got a lot of bubbles going on there. A whole lot going on. From the heel all the way up. The head, it's actually a nice bit of head. Um, looks nice and foamy and really has a nice color to it. It's kind of like a, a cream colored um, Head on it, you know, kind of light brown in with the white. It looks really nice. Smell. For a pale ale, I thought it would maybe be a little bit more, more piney or hoppy. You kind of pick up a bit of a, a malt smell as a dominant smell. And then at the back, you do pick up a little bit of a um, kind of like a the, the hop smell, but a piney hop. But it's not big at all. Ooh, ready to try this. That's interesting. Um, first thing that hits you, you kind of get some citrus, um, kind of grapefruit, but almost like grapefruit cut with something else, maybe lemon or something. So it's not like that real strong grapefruit like you get with an IPA, um, but you do get the grapefruit, but it's kind of cut with some other kind of a citrus flavor there. Um, you do pick up some piney notes um, from the from the hops, I'm assuming here, but you also do get like a little bit of a a malty caramel taste as well. So I'd say this is maybe a little more um, balanced than some of the others that kind of go one way or the other. You do get a nice bit of, of malt, a uh, bit of caramel, but then you also get the hops and the citrus. Um, it's a pretty well balanced beer, honestly. To pick up eight of these for twelve bucks, um, you know, this and the other beers, it's a, a pretty decent um, set. So. Yeah, all in all, I like that. Uh, Untapped gave it a 3.48, Beer Advocate a 3.88, and the, the critic score, meta score, whatever it is, was an 86, so very good. Um, and this one's coming in at 7% ABV. I will say, it doesn't really taste boozy at all. I think the hops kind of masks it, so you kind of get the citrus and the hops, the other things. 
Um, so being a little bit higher than, than usual, usually, you know, um, I guess the average beers are probably around 5% or so. This is seven, a little bit higher on the ABV, um, but doesn't taste it at all. I mean, I think it's a pretty well done beer. Um, honestly, disappointed I hadn't seen this on the shelves before. So Kostritzer, um, you guys are doing a pretty good job. Keep cranking these out. I hope to see more of your beers in the U.S. Um, like I said, I went to the website. There was a bunch of stuff. The only one I've ever seen regularly is the Schwarz beer. Um, so if you, you know, if you see the Kostritz or stuff where you are, if you've seen some of those other variants, let me know. Until next time, well, oh, almost jumped the gun. This beer definitely gets the thumbs up. Um, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. And as always, if you have any comments or questions, jump in below. Let me know what you think. If you have any friends or family that are interested in beer videos, please share. Until next time, prost!